traders from around the world what's going on it's your boy Ricky Cadden back again with another real life stock review just for you hope you guys are doing absolutely splendid on this very very nice Wednesday here in sunny Brisbane Australia let's talk about the overall markets guys the SPY now a lot of you who have been following my stock reviews would have noticed that back here I did mention the market is about to pull back about eight to ten percent or roughly you know five to ten percent pretty much in that same ballpark right now guys we have pulled back about close to close to seven and a half percent and I do believe that this is a fairly healthy pullback in the markets I do think that we are going to trade bullish today so if you are a day trader and uh, do trade the US markets look for a very nice bullish play tonight and for the ASX as well, expect a gap up tomorrow. Also, right now the SPY has pulled back a fair amount. And if you take a look at the short-term moving averages, guys, we are pretty much straight back down to the 50. So a really nice bouncing location for the broader markets. And the volume is starting to dip off. So I do expect this. Uh, I do expect this to kind of slow down and you know expect it to bounce and then possibly roll back over. And then from there, guys, I'll literally looking. To, I'll be literally be looking to buy the dip uh, on a lot of the broader market stocks. Here's the E-minis uh, showing a little bit of strength here uh, on the off the 50. Sorry, really nice bounce off the 50-day EMA. And for the evening session or the afternoon session, I should say, it's looking quite bullish. I must say, pretty much since the start of the day, we had a beautiful little gap down and then uh, faded pretty much entirely all day so right now if you are bullish i get it look for it to continue a little bit higher up and then maybe possibly look for a little bit of a rollover or a little bit more of a weakness to come into a play uh from about uh 3476 so 3476 is where i'll expect us to kind of reverse and then trade a little bit lower and form a really nice double bottom and or come back a little bit lower here's nicola now if you are a tr if you are a part of real life trading, and you did not see this gap, um, actually, if you're not a part of real life trading and you did not see this gap, you should be a part of real life trading because I did shout out this particular trade, uh, this gap up. It was a sensational gap and go, and I did call it out pretty much an hour and a half before open. So if I just kind of drag this across last night at 10 p.m. Right, market opens at 11 p.m. 11:30 p.m. here in Australia. I did say it was a strong, uh, sorry, strong gap and go on Nikola. So 11, 11, sorry, it was 20 minutes before I opened on Nikola. And it was a yeah, strong gap up on Nikola. Also did speak about Tesla as well. This was a brilliant play on Nikola, by the way. Beautiful, beautiful trade. A lot of people very profitable, especially all the real life traders. Um, we did get a really nice quick sell off. A lot of people getting trapped on this one but this is just simply a lot of bit a little bit of profit taking and then obviously the nice little squeeze higher very very sensational trade if you did take nicola uh, for right now guys i do expect us to continue a little bit more bullish tonight here's tesla and tesla was a sensational gap and go lower so a gap and go simply is a white candle gapping down right which is a lot of bullish people bullish traders who are trapped we gapped below the low of the previous day and we did have a few short sellers that were obviously closing out their positions pretty much just that open and then from there guys it just kind of faded or well, not faded so it just fizzled out and went lower for the rest of the day once again i did give you guys that call out back here nice strong gap and go on tesla tonight we all knew it was pull, pulling back uh, on Tesla, that was like an hour and a half before the open. So if you did get to catch that, or if you did want to catch catch a particular move like this and wanted to know how to trade that, make sure you hop over to reallifetrading.com.au. Get yourself signed up. It's only $129 a month and uh, sensational value. Um, join the team, join the community. It's absolutely phenomenal. You will not regret it. Next on the list, guys, is obviously the ASX 200. Now, this was a really nice gap down, although I did mention that we were coming down to a support level. So it was a gap and go. However, with the market being bullish, 
after the gap down, we did have a very small little sell-off at the start of the day, and then we kind of just traded a little bit higher. Um, but for the most part, guys, I have been mentioning that we will be trading between this range for a little bit, a little bit of time. We'll squeeze between the 100 and 200, possibly come down a little bit lower, maybe back down to here. We'll have to wait and see on this one. The market is kind of just trading alongside the S&P 500 and seeing how the broader markets are traveling. But for the most part, guys, ASX 200 is just going completely sideways and look to buy low, sell high. Newcrest Mining. This is one you're going to want to watch, guys. This is starting to coil. Nice coilage action coming in right here at the 100 simple moving average. Really nice consolidation accumulating accumulating right now. So there will be a little bit of pressure building. Take a look at the hourly chart. And there you go, guys. We're getting some really nice double bottom, or really nice inverted head and shoulders patterns happening as we speak. Um, but the daily chart looks beautiful, looks absolutely sensational. Obviously, this is going to be one to track with gold. And if, GL, uh, if, if gold is going higher or if gold starts to bounce, look out Newcrest. We are definitely going to start going higher. There's a really good dip buying opportunity for a long term. Uh, for a long-term hold as well. Here's Commonwealth Bank of Australia, ticket symbol CBA. Now, I did mention we'd be coming back down to the 100 simple moving average and the volume is starting to pick up. I also did mention a while ago that we will be coming uh, trading between the 100 and 200 simple for, you know, three to six months, which we have been doing. So CBA, trading sideways completely. Uh, look to buy low, sell high. You can look to obviously sell some puts to try and get put some shares at a lower price, you know, somewhere down here. That would be absolutely fantastic. But if you take a look at the long-term moving averages, guys, on the weekly chart, we are just chilling at the 200 right now. So looks super, super saucy for a long, long-term accumulation right now. Here's crude oil. I did mention crude oil was going to be going lower after this very nice bearish close. Um, a very nice bearish close after this particular pennant pattern. I do expect us to trade higher, guys. Watch it come back up to the 20, uh, the 200 simple on the daily chart and possibly start to reverse a little bit. I don't think it's going to go too much lower. It is crude oil. It is, you know, fairly volatile at the moment. I get that. Um, but it's really just trading along with the broader markets. Here's gold. And this one is also coiling. Look at the volume that came in yesterday on that sensational hammer candle. A lot of liquidity right here at this all-time high. The previous all-time high that we had makes tons and tons and tons of sense to be picking up a share or two or, you know, some gold right now for the longs. Take a look at the shorter term moving averages. We are bouncing straight off the 50. So hashtag no brainer. But last but not least, guys, the Aussie dollar. And I did draw Mr. Squiggles here back on this bullish day. And we are trading very, very nicely. I did mention we're going to be closing below the 20 this time. And it will possibly come down to the 50 or at least the 50 will catch up with us. So kind of let this trade sideways for a little bit. Build a little bit more pressure. Trade up back into the US election. And then we'll kind of watch and wait and see what happens there. All right, guys. That's enough for me. I'll be back on Friday with another free real life stock review just for you guys. If you guys want me to review any tickers, leave it in the comment section below or Send me an email. I'll leave my email in the description below. Hit us up on our Facebook page. We do the whole social media thing, guys. But until next time, love life, live life and trade it. You rock. Bye.